Expenses Day 14, the big clear up at Westminster continues. People, people, some people, some people, we have to say some people, some people have let themselves down, they've let Parliament down, they've let their parties down and they've let their constituents down and they will pay the price for having done that. We're all learning some interesting things about the sort of esoteric <laughs> domestic life of our parliamentary <laughs> colleagues. That's um, quite putting it. Never quite see them in the same uh, light again, nor will the Election. And I keep saying, there is a now we've got a, we, we've now finally got a process that's going to be effective and there will be consequences that come but do you from think it. We've finally broken the club. we finally ended self-regulation of Parliament. Well, you've said you've done that, but yeah. you haven't no, actually no, 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 done yeah. that. No, this exactly. Is, this, I promise you, as someone who's been banging on about this for a long time, we're finally getting there. This is big stuff. But winning back the confidence, if you're asking if that's the question, I think we're at a, a pivotal moment now. It could go either way. On the one hand, it could go in the direction of anti-politics, walking away from the system, all that stuff. Very, very dangerous. Extremism. Or it could, it could galvanise people to say, look, let's sort out our political system. Well, the Duck Island is an island that you construct in the middle of a pond so the ducks can live on it and uh, they won't be caught by the fox. Um, Clearly a vital piece of equipment. <laughs> uh, this is going to go down, you know, like moats and so well, on. Um, Sir Peter Vigors, MP for uh, Gosport, uh, has basically been told by David Cameron tonight, you announce your retirement uh, at the next election or you lose the Conservative whip. And so he is now the third MP in a couple of days to announce he's stepping down at the next election. Like the Tory MP who claimed for a forester to manage 500 trees on his estate, announced he wouldn't be running at the next election and reflected on what he sees as the unfairness of it all. I've been too transparent, I've been too honest and I've been victimised for it. I should have claimed the interest on the mortgage and we'll all be enjoying a good cup of tea now. People don't want an election where all you will get is a few new faces with the same old rotten rule. Yes, you got used to the moat or if you're just getting used to it, you're going to have to get used to a new symbol of the great expenses scandal. It's a duck island. That is right, taxpayers' money was used to pay for an island for a Conservative MP's ducks. 